It is 9.45 and time for Imaginate. Extreme scientist Jamie Pafford is here. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, normally when these are set out, this means i got to put them on, right? Yes, okay. absolutely. And you're also going to want to put some protection on your hands. Okay. Just for splash protection because we're going to be using acetone. Ah. Yes, and we're okay. going to be talking about polymers and plastic and styrofoam. Oh, yeah, we see that everywhere. We do, and we actually call it by the wrong name. Styrofoam is actually a brand. It's like Band-Aid, Kleenex, Q-tips. Oh. Yeah, things okay. like that. Really what we're drinking out of is something called polystyrene. 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 Right. And what the process to actually get our cup, we use very little polystyrene and it's kind of whipped in with air and we ended up with a very nice insulated cup okay. that we use for coffee. Sure. But let's go ahead and see exactly how much polystyrene is in one of these products by go ahead and placing it in some acetone. So go just ahead and just yep, down? go ahead, go put it in there. Okay, do I hold it there? Yep, you can let it go and it'll oh, wow. start to break down fairly quickly, yeah. right? You can see it kind of melting or dissolving actually yeah, in there. Now is this acetone like we would see at the nail salon or something? It's or very it high concentrated acetone. Okay. So what we're left with once we dissolve wow. that polystyrene is like this goopy, molten, plasticky grossness, right? Oh, it's sure. kind of But that's a small amount for as large of a cup. It is. It's 98% air huh. located within our cup. You want to okay. do another one? Yeah, sure. Okay. Now, to get this product, um, we can use polystyrene for anything. We can use it for the plastic cups, utensils that you see, CD cases, razors, things like okay, that. Yeah. Now, in order for us to get the coffee cup, what happens is, is they take that polystyrene and they dissolve a agent called hydrochlorofluorocarbon. Okay, I'm following, <laughs> you're taking me back. It is, and it's dissolved at extremely high pressure. And then it's extruded through a narrow slot yeah. and it creates and it allows it to expand and creates these really lar large foam sheets. So we're actually gonna take this large foam sheet Kay. because it's kind of its, its pro and its con, right? Is sure. that styrofoam, I'm gonna go ahead and push that down in there. Wow. Now the pro, it just dissolves so it fast. It really does. And the pro and the con of styrofoam is that we use a very little material, but it's 98% air. It's very insulated, but it's, it's bulky. It takes mm -hmm. up a lot of space. So we can't really recycle it. You can recycle it. Unfortunately, locally, we don't have anywhere that we can take it. Mm. Um, and when they do recycle it, they're they're using extremely high temperatures and we can't get to those extremely high temperatures and actually if they're doing like um, spring cleaning things like that uh -huh. what you don't want to do is try to throw it in a burn pile anything like that because it's going to incomplete combust incomplete combustion sure so it's sending off like essentially toxic it stuff is. into it's the like atmosphere. like that black carbon, carbon monoxide, things like that. So gotcha. now this is fun and it's truly enjoyable. But we can also use styrofoam as kind of a memorable teaching moment for safety. Okay. Right? Yeah. So if we're in a classroom or a lab actually and we have good old Carol here. Oh, Carol. Carol. Right. Now students, sometimes they don't like to wear eye protection. They don't want to look goofy, silly in front of their friends, things okay. like that. But we do have chemicals laying around a lab and potentially they might not be labeled. So and this is in a high school class, you know, we've all taken those courses before. Absolutely. Yeah. They want to wear them on the top of their head, not what they should be doing, they should be on their face. And then they come across a chemical that they might not know. Now here's your bottle, okay. your unidentified chemical. All right. In this case it's acetone and we have Carol here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of be give an impactful image for them. So go ahead and you can kind of spray her face here. And hopefully oh, this is whoa. a takeaway moment for them to realize that some of the chemicals that they're coming in contact with are very important to, to make sure they're using the splash protection, wow. the goggles. Wow. So you just never know. Your point is, is that if you're in one of these chemistry classes or you're in a, a lab for another class, you don't know what could be around you and it could be something that's really harmful. Exactly. Wow. Okay. That's a very telling uh, <laughs> experiment right there, it's but gross. definitely kind of a neat way to see what that takeout box that you get is really all about. Yeah. Pretty cool. Well, Jamie, thanks so much for coming in. A quick reminder for you, the Imagination Station doing some Mother's Day activities for you. Moms, they get in free on Mother's Day. Take a look at your screen. They're celebrating Mother's Day, May 5th through the 10th. You can celebrate mom by making her a special papertronic card. And of course, on Mother's Day, moms get in free. So that's a really fun time for all the moms out there. Jamie, thanks so much for coming in. That's this week's Imagine It. From there, let's go over to the guys. They have a check of sports.